the six local government areas in River State where INEC is expected to resume collusion of results beginning from 2nd April 2019 are Abua Odua, Degema, Ahodo West, Gokana, Kana, and Asaritoro local government areas. With results from 17 local government areas already collated, political parties now hinge their fate on the remaining six local government areas. But as the process begins, INEC and security agencies have received equal amount of blame. Although both institutions have proclaimed innocence, they equally boast of their preparedness to make the process hitch free. From tomorrow, we'll kickstart the process of uh, resumption of collision and hopefully declaration of uh, the results. The police command is determined to provide security for all residents and stakeholders in rivers for them to exercise their fundamental rights. No group is more anxious to see the end of this logjam than the political parties involved. The main contenders are the PDP and the AAC, backed by the APC in the states. We are appealing to INEC to make sure that they, on no account will they cease from the timeline they have already established to make sure that we we'll come out of this process and life will come back fully in River State. If INEC can show us a video coverage Showing this collection for 17 local government areas, showing the EO, the ROs, the COs, and the different party agents, then we'll accept whatever thing they we'll, we'll accept whatever thing they uh, come out from. For the people who have been kept waiting, they just need to get their life back as soon as possible. We want peace. Let them do whatever they want to do and allow peace. And because the road they blocked is really affecting us. We want is just a peaceful collection. There should be no violence. And after everything, everyone should just take it in good faith. Going by INEX timeline, the final result will be announced on the 15th of April, while certificates of return will be issued to winners on the 19th of April, 2019. From Portacode, Monica Ogwa, STV News.